you are coming out of scarcity and into abundance. This is a season of divine recompense and restoration. Before I get into the word, I do want to go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, I just thank you so much for this time. I thank you for this opportunity to share your word, God, for your people, for whom this is specifically for. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would direct those whom it is for to hear this message, to encourage them, Lord God, that you have seen it all and that you have not overlooked your people. I pray right now that you would speak through me, that you would think through me, and that it, you would share, God, what you have released to me to share to your people. I thank you now, Father, and I bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So we are in a time of restoration for God's people. This word is specifically for those that have been faithful through season after season, after much trials, after much, much testings and temptations. So in order for us to have come to this place, we've had to overcome a lot of things. And, you know, God is taking us out of our wilderness season and he's bringing us into the land that he has promised us. And this land is called the promised land. And this really looks like, you know, we had to leave something behind. We had to put something and on the on the table and we had to say lord here's the promise and we had to give god this promise that we have been hoping for that god would do in our lives and god took this promise to purge us and we see this in the life of joseph and joseph you know in psalms 105 18 through 20 it says this it says he sent a man before them Joseph, who was sold as a slave, they hurt his feet with fetters. He was laid in irons until the time that his word came to pass. The word of the Lord tested him, and the king sent and released him. The ruler of the people let him go free. So God positioned us to be in a position right where we were going through so many things. And for most of us, you know, we were in a season or many seasons right of lack of scarcity where you know it was like we were barely getting by but make no mistake about it you know during this time god has provided for us god has continued to come through and you know he did it so we would be in a position to trust in him to truly surrender everything that we have in our lives you know as the bible says that we would not live on bread alone but every word that proceeds out of the mouth of god that we would not rely on the systems of the world you know we would not rely on anything not anybody but on god himself and so maybe you have wondered you know why did you go through so much trouble you maybe wondered why did you have to go through this and again, when we see the life of Joseph, that he was placed in position to help his family and to help, you know, for the famine that was to come. And in the same way, God has positioned us for such a time as this, right? Just like Esther, you know, for who knows if you have come into the kingdom for such a time as this. God placed us in position because he knew, right, that he could trust us. And in order for him to have, you know, placed that responsibility, he had to allow us to, you know, endure hardship and endure, you know, these things in our life. And again, I'm reminded how, you know, for a lot of us, we have been through delay, we have been through disappointment, we have been through discouragement. And make no mistake about it that God, you know, intertwined all of this in his divine purposes. You know, Ecclesiastes 3.11 says this, He has made everything beautiful and appropriate in its time. You know, God has an appointed timing for all things. And he, you know, saw the bigger picture. And again, this kind of echoes in Genesis where, you know, he says, you know, that it is good. And God saw that it was good, that it was complete. 
And in the same way for us, the things that we've went through, you know, God had to purge us. God had to bring us to a place, right, where he would, again, have his work done in our lives so we would be a blessing to other people. And so as God is about to bring us into this place, right, of abundance, of fruitfulness, of just a sweet place of God fulfilling the promises that he told us in our life, what does that mean and what does that look like? It means that we are to continue to do what we have been doing. It doesn't mean that now where God, you know, brings us into this broad place that we're going to forget about him. No, because in Deuteronomy chapter 8, I encourage you to read that. You know, it talks about, you know, why God, you know, did this to the children of Israel. And, you know, it says in Deuteronomy 8, 2 to 3, says this, And you shall remember that the Lord your God led you all the way these 40 years in the wilderness to humble you and test you, to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. So he humbled you. And allowed you to hunger and fed you with manna which you did not know, nor did your fathers know that he might make you know that man should not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So again, you know, this is letting us know that as God is bringing us into this place, we are to remember all these years, you know, what he's done and to continue to place him first, that God holds you know, the preeminence in our hearts and in our lives that, you know, even as we enter into this season, right, where he's bringing everything back, he's restoring everything back the way that he originally had for his people. We are to continue to seek him. We are continue to delight ourselves in him and just really thank him for what he's done and what he's about to do. And again, God has placed us in position for his end time harvest. You know, as we are strategically placed in our geographical regions, wherever that is, you know, this is all for his purpose, for his end time harvest, that there are still so many people that are going to come into his kingdom. And just like, again, Joseph, we have been placed in this position to be a ruler right to help other people and so i hope today that this word encouraged you and again that you remember everything that you've ever went through you know it all served a purpose and one last thing um, that i forgot to mention is when you you know remember all the things that you you know went through one important thing to remember is what did you take away from this journey what did you take away from your wilderness journey that you are going to share with other people that this is going to be also something for them as well because you know god promises us you know those that are obedient right this land flowing of milk and honey so this is for you know all believers but as you're going to you know, as you're transitioning into this place, what are you taking away? What is something that you are going to share with others? And I really felt the Holy Spirit, you know, uh, lead me to share that with you guys so that that way you can share with, with people, you know, whoever may be, what did you take away from it? And what are you going to do differently, you know, into this place and now? you know, living the life that God has called you to do in his goodness and just living in this place of just sweet abundance with him. Once again, I I hope and pray that this blessed you. And again, thank you for watching. God bless you.